What's up guys, Kyle here again, and today we're gonna take a look at the Bogner Shiva 20th anniversary KT88 model. Let's go. What's up everybody? Hope you guys are doing great today. We're checking out the Bogner Shiva 20th anniversary KT88 model. Before I get into this amp, I'm asking you to please like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more badass, high gain, modded Marshall, modern metal type amps, because that's what we're doing here on this channel. I'm pushing a ton of amps through. I've been doing about a video a day. We're getting some awesome pedals in here from the big guys and from the small builders, including my Deadwell Duality DX pedal here that I've been using in pretty much every video since I've got it because it's rad. So anyways, I would really appreciate you guys hanging around, checking out some of the upcoming videos. We got lots of cool stuff in the works, so please consider liking this video and subscribing to this channel. It would help out a lot. Enough self-pimping. I got this amp a few months ago. I really wanted to try it out. I've always been interested in Bogner stuff. I've had a couple Uber shawls. I have a Bogner Helios Eclipse that I really love. That is a nasty, very open, very good sounding modded Marshall tone. This thing, I kind of put it out there, was wondering if it could do high gain, thrash metal type stuff. A lot of people said no. And now that I have the amp, I disagree. I absolutely think it can do those tones. Is it suited for it? Eh, not necessarily. So we're gonna dive into, there's technically two gain channels on this uh, amp. There's a two and a two plus. This is also the version that has the foot switchable gain mod, which is what you guys heard in the intro. It adds a little bit more uh, low end punch and a little bit more like graininess to the saturation of the gain. We're gonna put everything back to noon, including the gain. I'm gonna turn off all boosts. So all we have is a noise gate and we are going to go back to the two channel. And by go back, I mean stay, because we're already there. And I'm going to play some stuff. Here's the amp in its natural state, no pedal effects, and no gain mod in hand. Also, real quick, before we jump into that, I'm using a Gibson Les Paul Studio with a Duncan JB in the bridge. Mixing it up a little bit today. Got to get some silver burst in there. So that's the amp, everything at noon, gain included on channel two. There's a tone shift button in the middle here. I just pushed it in. That seems to kind of take some of the upper mid frequencies out. And it actually seems to quiet the amp down quite a bit. We're gonna leave that out for now. There's a bright switch over here. I've had it in this whole time. Let's push it out. Back in. Adds quite a bit of top end brightness to it. So why don't we pull that out and do the presence up a little bit. Let's get a little bit more bass, a little bit more gain. Okay, getting a little better for me. Let's get those mids up, a little treble, a little more gain.
That's like a, kind of a dark, chewy Marshall. It's, it's interesting. It's pretty good. Should also mention there is an excursion knob on the back, which is kind of like a depth or a resonance. It's pretty much right at noon right now, and the amp is pretty big in the low end. Very much reminds me of your tip typical Bogner low end where it's a little bouncy and round. It's not punchy and tight, but it's not loose either. Sounds good. More gain. Pretty decent note separation, string clarity. Not the best I've heard, but it's not bad. The bass gets pretty tubby with the gain being pushed. That's better. All right, let's uh, get that gain mod pushed on. Instantly transforms the amp. Kind of has like a honkiness in the mids going on. Let's kick that bright switch on, pull some treble back. I like that less. Very uh, honky and nasally in the mids. It sounds really congested to me. Let's hit that shift button again, see how that uh, mixes it up a little. Kind of takes that honkiness away. Let's pull the gain back, kick on a boost. We are on the Deadwell Duality green side, which is kind of Tube Screamer-ish. All right, so we got to dial some highs back, dial some bass in. A little more volume too. Okay, sounds better still. There's a lot of low mid honkiness there that makes it not so great for the palm mutes as far as getting a tight percussive palm mute going. So, gain mod off, tube screamer still on. I think I actually like that better. Get some more gain going. A 
little bit more gain. Ah, yeah, it's cool guys. We're gonna go over to channel two plus, put everything back to noon, turn our boost off, and try it all again. All right guys, we're now on the channel two plus setting. Everything at noon, no effects. Not the band. So that's the two plus channel. Let's kick the gain up. Okay, the tone shift was in. Now it's back out. There we go, that sounds better. All right, so uh, let's get, I don't even know what I wanna do here. More gain. So far, uh, I just don't love it. I just don't love this amp. There's a reason why I wanted to sell it and I'm remembering now. We'll throw a boost on, or first, let's, uh, we got the gain mod kicked in. All that like congested lower mids comes right back with the mod pushed in. Uh, yeah, tone shift back out. Let's kick a boost on. It's very midi. Let's pull those mids back, a little bit more bass. Let's go over to the TC preamp side of the duality. Turn the gain mod back off. I don't like that. It's just way too congested in the midsection. It sounds way too honky. Gain up a little bit. This sounds a little better with it off. All 
right guys, so that's about it for me. I'm gonna switch guitars real quick, but I think that this amp through like a nice greenback cab for some high gain classic rock tones would be really cool. For what I try to do with it, and for the guys who watch my channel who are all about the high gain chugs, I don't think it's for us, man. I don't. All right guys, we got the Explorer with the Voodoo Custom Pickups. Alchemist in the bridge. I've been using this a lot lately because it sounds amazing. <laughs> This guitar sounds better through this amp, but still, it just, uh, not my thing, man. Could somebody use it and get good tones out of it for the thrash thing? Yeah, sure. But I just think that there's better options for that. Now, again, if somebody was cranking this through like some 25 watt greenbacks and getting that speaker break up and really pushing everything uh, for a high gain classic rock tone, yeah, yeah, I think this amp would be great for that. It's got tons of low end, tons of mids to really cut through the mix, but uh, overall, just not my favorite. The JB wasn't the greatest choice for it, but even so with this guitar, it still sounds pretty nasally and congested. So, uh, so yeah, that is my review of the Bogner Shiva 20th anniversary KT88 model with the gain modded foot switch. This is going to be going up for sale on my Reverb store. If you are interested in it, feel free to shoot me a message on Facebook. I gotta get it sold so I can get some other cool stuff in here. Anyways, if you guys would, please again, like, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. It was great to have you here. Down in the description of this video are all my affiliate links and links to my friends pages, links to Voodoo Custom Pickups, links to Wagner Amp Repair, my tech who does all my mods and amp repairs for me. There's lots of good stuff down there. If you guys click and buy anything from those Amazon affiliate links, I get a little kickback, which I will then reinvest in gear for this channel. Uh, any little bit helps. I appreciate you guys being here. I hope that this demo was helpful. Kyle here again. We'll see you guys next time.